What's up guys, it's the Doza and we are back here on the V4 Vanilla server and today I want to return to spawn again because apparently there's a lot of new things happening over in that region of the world and uh, I think I have some diamonds I want to spend so I, th I think there's a few new shops, I know there's a few new buildings and stuff like that so, uh, so let's go spend some time at spawn today. Alright, I'll bring about a half a stack or so. Is there anything I can leave here? Um, we're going to organize too. I, I think the next episode we are going to get at least a place to store all these items because I have so much stuff. Actually, I think I might bring this as well. Um, I got a lot of wood on me because we're also going to do something else today, which, which I, don't, I don't know if the title of the video hints towards it or not. I'm sure it does. But uh, first things first, I want to check out the new shops and the new buildings around spawn. And, uh, and then we'll get building on this other thing. You guys really have to excuse my voice because I just woke up and in the morning my, my throat and my nasal area is a little stuffed up and a little uh, congested. So if I sound a little nasally, that's why, but trust me, I'm working on it. With the little help of some video editing and some, some hot coffee, hopefully we'll be able to solve this problem. But anyways, enough about my nasal cavity. Let's talk about more important things on the V for Vanilla server. Um, this is coming along pretty nicely. They got, uh, the nether hub being worked out. The nether hub is more like a nether ravine, it looks like. They got some glass laid down. Um, I'm not sh exactly sure how it works. I think, oh, dog bark in the background. Excuse that. I, I very, I apologize. I will, I will go murder that dog in just a minute. I'm kidding. I won't. I won't murder it. I will adopt it out to a very nice family. Uh, <laughs> and then there's this side over here. I think, like... At first I thought the ravine they made, they made this ravine with TNT, they just like blew it out and made a home, like a custom ravine kind of thing. I thought maybe this was going to be the hub itself, then everybody would branch off of the sides of this. Uh, but then I ran into this thing over here. Hobo humping Slobo Babe. What the hell's that all about? Look at this. I don't know if this is going to be the main hub or not, or if, or if they're going to incorporate all this. My tunnel's kind of over there, so, I mean, I, maybe I have to... Maybe I missed the video or something. I need to look something up. What's that? Does that go to spawn? What's that say? Oh, Sea Money's base? What, is this Sea Money's hub? Alright, so first things first. I want to check out my favorite shop. <laughs> no offense to anybody else, but I think uh, Phil's shop's probably my favorite around here. Oh, let me in. Alright, what does he got going on now? Uh, same kind of things. So two diamonds. Some unbreaking swords. S some of these look like they have been here last time I checked. What's this? Three diamonds. Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Thorns. Interesting, interesting. Um, maybe a new work pickaxe. It looks like he hasn't really filled it up lately. Um, yeah, let's go check out. Uh, well, maybe I want to do... Maybe I want to buy something here. I don't know. I want to check still. Wait, what are these? 20 diamonds. Ooh, for all three? I'd pay 20 diamonds for all three. I wouldn't pay 20 diamonds each, though. Yeah, why not? I think I'll buy a name tag. Why not, right? I have... I have uh, I have, uh, what you call them? Ooh, free stuff chest, four emeralds? I'll take those, no problem. Yeah, I know I have I have villagers, I can get my own name tags, but, it, you know, you gotta support the people on the server. Well, I think this is a new place, but I went inside and it's empty. It has a sign in it, <laughs> and the window's broken, I don't know if that's a thing. But it says, uh, sorry to impose, we didn't make a mess, scout's honor. Oh, this thing is new. What'd this do? Press the button. Oh, beautiful. Oh. <gasps> 16 exactly? I have been looking... I hope whoever... Oh, sorry about the children screaming in the background. I hope whoever made this doesn't mind. I'm just going to dig in really quick, so I want to see how this thing works. Uh, I won't break anything, I promise. Okay. And these are full, I'm assuming, yeah. This makes exactly... Wait, what? Is it, there must be some more redstone going on underneath here, I don't know. That is pretty amazing, though. I've, I've been looking for a design like this that dispenses exactly one stack of ender pearls. That's really cool. Tricky's fancy one by one elevator. Just push W. Okay. Didn't work. Now this one looks like an elevator. Uh, I think Tricky's been working on this one too. I'm not sure if it works yet and it probably won't work for me anyways. Let's hit the button. Oh no, I got pushed out. There's some trick to it. Of course I can't really see the pistons going up because uh, because Doza has computer problems. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I think I know what this place is. Under construction, do not enter. I think this is a restaurant that was named after me, or it has my name in it, but apparently I have nothing to do with it. It's 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 very interesting. Go and watch, uh, I believe it was Digi and Tricky. 
Go watch their video. Was it Sea Money? I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know Digi was part of it, I think. Was it Dizzy? Was it Biz? Ah, I'm horrible. But you know what? I'm going to break in. I'm going to break in. I'm sorry, guys. Am I breaking rules? I'm just going to take a peek in. Ooh, this place does look pretty amazing. There is some, like, functionality, too, to it. Like, uh, those armor stands move around. I, I won't spoil too much. I mean, you can go watch their videos. <gasps> Ooh, you can go watch their videos and, uh, find out all the exact same stuff. Look at that creeper right there. That thing is sweet. I'm gonna hop back down. I don't mind going back up those stairs again. I think there's another store up here somewhere. Look at this creeper, though. Ooh, I like the use of the blocks. I usually just use something green. But this is on point. Look at that. Hold on. This is gonna be the thumbnail. Check this out. Ready? Screenshot. What's this? Lava Oulette. <laughs> Oh, lava roulette? Of course. Of course it was lava roulette. Can I F1? I can't see what I'm doing. Looks like there's another... There's a new game over here. At the, uh... At the mini games area. There's the, uh... I'll press F1 for that. There's the, uh... The hotel. Pretty amazing. Very, very shapely. Lava roulette. How does this work? Is this the How Does It Work book? You should name it so it says How Does It Work book on it. Lava roulette. How to play. Empty your inventory and take off all armor. Do not have anything on you that you are not willing to lose. All player, all players, there should be an S there. Put one diamond in the pot. Pick a color and stand on the red clay block. One player pushes one of the stone buttons on the quartz block. Does not matter which one. Repeat step four until one player is left. The player wins the diamonds. That player wins the diamonds until one person is left. It should, it says, does not matter which one presses the button. It should matter. Right? It should be like a turns thing. Ikari made this. Cool. Cool. I dig it. I'm not sure how it works. I'll probably have to... Oh, so okay. So each person has a button. And when you hit it, a random one will get pulled down. I don't think any... I think the one on the opposite side... Oh, that one got pulled. That one got pulled. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to get some people on to, uh, to play that with. Okay, I think we've jibber-jabbered enough. I'm not sure if I've missed any shops. If I did, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll go check those out. I wanted to spend some more diamonds today, but I didn't really get to. So, let's get into what we decided to do today, while we still have some time. Uh, I spent some time over here uh, the other day, and just harvested a whole bunch of oak wood. Planted trees, broke them down, you know, that kind of thing. Because I wanted to do this idea that I had over by the fire station. Uh, I think I talked about it in the last episode of the episode before. I think it was the last episode, actually. And I went and talked to Ikari, the person who made that Russian... Uh, lava roulette thing. He's the one that is building this, and I sent him a message on Skype, and I told him my idea of building little basic houses uh, in order to catch on fire and uh, and practice being a firefighter, practice putting out fires. I thought it'd be a cool idea, so I proposed it to him, and he said it sounds pretty cool. And so l let's do that really quick. I'm not going to accept the functionality, okay? So how it's going to work is this is my idea at least. Um, I'll probably put some redstone throughout here under the ground, just hooked up to a button or a lever or something, probably over here somewhere. This is not going to be permanent. It's, it's going to be very minimal. Like, I, I could fill it all back in with stone after we're done if anybody else wants to build here. This is just a temporary idea. I mean, if he's down with it, I'll make it a permanent thing. I'll just come back here every week and build new buildings and he can come firefight them. <laughs> uh, but it's going to have redstone hooked up to probably a dispenser or something, maybe some fire charges in them. And uh, when you hit it, it sends a fire charge in the house. So the fire's actually being lit from inside the building. So you could even be out here in the rain fighting fires. Uh, and then have buckets available and maybe some, like, red and yellow uh, uh, fire suits. <laughs> some leather armor, some fire suits, and, like, a, you know, red armor and yellow helmet or something like that. And, you know, with buckets and all the things you need to use to fight fires. So, he's cool with that. And that's going to be the ultimate goal. But today I'm just going to build the basic houses and then we'll probably be out of time on this video. Uh, but I'm trying to go for two... <sighs> so we're supposed to go for one video a week. I'm trying to go for two videos a week, but what's been happening the past few weeks <laughs> is uh, I upload two videos in one week and then I miss the next week. And that's not on purpose. That's, you know, it just happens that way. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to build a few basic houses, no doors, no windows, no glass windows at least. And... Uh, We'll see how it turns out. You know, I'm, I'm just going to build the basic houses, have the oak logs as the trim, and then the oak planks as uh, as the rest of the house. Okay. Oh, oh God. Really? Great timing. Great timing. Um, I've done some work 
and I got some buildings built. Uh, very, very basic. Very basic, okay? So bear with me. Um, it's just oak and some spruce stairs for the roofs and stuff like that. I guess I could take that out. Uh, but I ran out of resources for right now, so this is as far as I'm going to get. But I got a few houses in. You can see three here right off the bat. And I kind of just piled them in. They're pretty close together. Here's another one here and another one back here. I think there's one more over here, which I haven't got the roof on yet. So what is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven? I think it's seven houses. I got seven little houses built. Um, I'm gonna make a little bit more, f little bit more uh, detail into them and stuff like that. Like the, the, this is the idea I want to have. Or this is the idea I have that I want to do. Um, I want to have one house have it like you know w when you see people uh, testing house fires, it's always like a Christmas tree caught on fire or something like. On Mythbusters, they did something like that one time or something. So I want to have like a Christmas tree in here, and underneath that will be the uh, fire charge dispenser. So you hit the button and the Christmas tree catches on fire, they're faulty Christmas lights, and it burns the house down. And then maybe in this one, I want to have like a couple furnaces set up, like a little kitchen, like somebody left the stove on, and that caught the house on fire. And then, you know, just go from there, start doing little ideas like that. Each house will be different. It'll be decorated and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't get it done for this video because we're running short on time, and I don't really have a lot of time today to do much here. And I really want to get this video out to you guys because it's, it's been it's been at least a week. I think it's probably been closer to like, I don't know, four, like, I don't know, like 10 days, <laughs> maybe longer. I don't want to say two weeks, but it's been a little while since I got a video out, so I want to get this out to you guys. But this is the idea that's going to be happening. I know these houses look really sloppy and really crappy. I just threw them together really quick. Um... But yeah, so that's going to be the plan. We're going to have little buttons that uh, light off all these fire charges. I'm going to have to get some of that colored leather armor to have, like, for a fireman suit and stuff like that. And hopefully I'll be able to collab with Kari sometime soon and we can uh, give this thing a test run. But for now, this is all we're going to do. I need to go get some more resources. I had plenty of oak wood. What I didn't have enough of was the spruce because <laughs> this was a lot of stairs putting all these all these roofs on. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, hey creeper. You want to die? You want to die? you did. dead. Okay. So anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please click the annotation at the top right to watch the next video. Click the top left to watch the last video. And be sure to go check out all the playlists of all the other things that I do. And be sure to go down to the comments or the section, uh, the, the description below to see everybody else who plays on here, including Ikari, which uh, he's the one building this very cool thing. So, uh, I need some coffee. I need to wake up. I did this first thing in the morning and uh, I'm tired. I need I need energy. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Less than a 15-minute video, Dozo, really, really? After all V for Vanilla has done for you, they let you in, and you just put out a 13-minute episode. Okay, so as I explained, I did run out of time today for recording this video, but I did not realize I had such little footage. I felt like that took so long to record. I thought I had, like, over a 20-minute video, but I didn't, so I apologize. It's very short today. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, a lot of cool things happening next episode. Spoiler alert! But, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.